In order to bring this project to life, we've got to make this actually work. So you can tap here to select the picture and then bring up the photo selection UI. They'll choose one and then show it inside our SwiftUI view. Now I've already shown how this works in previous videos. You can scroll back and find those if you want to or find the article for this and scroll down, copy the code from there. Um, if you haven't got it already, it's right here in our image picker uh, Swift file, which wraps up a UI view controller representable, which internally has a PH picker view controller and its delegate plus a coordinator to pull it all together and uh, respond to stuff and critically have this binding in place right here because that's how we communicate the finished selected UI image back to our original sync. I have again explained all this before. I'm not going to do it again. Instead, I want to focus on content view here, how we actually use this thing in practice. First, we need to add a state property up here to track if we're currently showing the image picker or not. So we'll start off by saying at state private var showing image picker equals false. So we are not currently showing the picker by default. And second, we want to set the true down here inside our on tap gesture for the Z stack. So we say, you know, now start showing the picker. So we'll say showing image picker is true. Second step done. Third step, we've got to have a property that will store the image that gets chosen by the user in their PH picker view controller. Now we gave this thing, if you remember, like I said a minute ago, this binding to a UI image, which means when we create the image picker to show from our Swift UI layout, we've got to pass in a UI image for it to write out. So we'll say there's another property up here at state private var input image is a UI image optional. That's the data I want to work with. Now, uh, we need a method that we called when the image picker view has been dismissed, right? This is going to actually do the loading of stuff. They've pressed on waterfalls, flowers, whatever it is from their library. That's when they want load that image ready to be shown on the screen. So we'll say uh, down here, I'll do it before save. It makes more sense in my head. Uh, funk load image. This will make sure we actually have an input image to work with. So we'll say guard let input image equals input image else return all on one line because I think as little one lines work better like that. Anyway, if we're still here, great. We've received a UI image through. We'll stash it away in our image property so image UI image that input image. And we can now call that whenever input image changes. And it's as simple as adding an on change modifier. So SwiftUI will watch that for changes, then call a function of our choosing. In our case, it's going to call our uh, load image function. Uh, this can go whenever you want to. On change can be attached anywhere. In this instance, I think it should be attached just to the end of the navigation title. That's a sensible place for it. There's no other better place. So we'll say uh, on change, dot on change even, on change of input image, ignore the input, and call load image. So we've got a place we can store the image. We've got a function that converts that UI image into a renderable image. And then we update that whenever the input image UI image changes. And now we're just gonna add a sheet to say, uh, when showing image picker is true, go ahead and create an image picker, our uh, UI view controller representable. Passing in that input image as its binding, so it can write back the contents when it changes. And so uh, we'll say, there's a sheet is presented is dollar showing image picker. And we'll do image picker image is dollar input image. And that completes all the steps required to wrap a full UI kit view controller. Now, because we put all that uh, work of UI view controller representable inside that custom struct to so forget about it, to have wrap it all up there. Um, it's just easier. And so we can go over it faster this time because uh, we've covered it all already in detail. Hopefully it all makes sense now. Go ahead and run the app again. And let's see how it looks. So I'll tap, select the picture here. There we go. Loading photos. I'll choose a sort of waterfall picture here. And boom. It disappears and the, uh, the picture appears on the screen. So it works great. Now, uh, as a reminder, this image picker thing we've made over here really is completely reusable. 
until SwiftUI has its own way of using PH Pick and View Controller with delegates and so forth in a natural, wrapped up, nice way, maybe iOS 16, who knows? Um, it's great. You know, grab that file, put it away in your personal library and reuse it in future projects because it's just so helpful to have here. Um, and really all you gotta do is have a sheet and a binding and it'll take care of the rest for you.